Hi children, good morning. How do you do? Are you all okay? Happy? Are you all studying? Yes, we are coming to the end of the academic year. That is again only just two months more. And whatever lessons are given to you, please go through it thoroughly and don't keep it pending. Do daily lessons so that will not burden you at all. And another request I have is please improve your writing. I have been teaching you from the first standard how to write the letters, middle strokes, upward stroke, downward strokes, all that be written according to that and with the correct formation of letters. Many of you all are not writing in the correct formation. Please take care of it. Don't just neglect it. Okay? I'm reminding you this because I want you to write better than me. And better than me you should be. Always. That's what my expectation about you. Right? Okay. So today let's begin with a worksheet. All of you keep your books ready. Worksheet. The first lesson. That is page number three. Silver anglets. We are going to do the worksheet on that. Now here, the first page, that means on the third page, make sentences using the following words. There are some words given here. Here, anglets, expensive, consoled, truthful, lovely. Five words are given there. So you know the meaning of these words. What is the meaning of anglets? Yes, a piece of jewellery worn. Yes, around your, your feet. That's called around your legs. That is called the anglet. Expensive means very costly. You have to give a lot of money. Money which is more. You have to spend that is expensive. Consoled. When somebody is in a sad mood or something has happened, some death take place, you go and talk to them softly with the pacifying words, consoling words, that is consoled. <coughs> truthful, truthful means to be honest, to say the truth, that is truthful. Lovely, something very beautiful or looks good. So we are going to do the first one. Anglets. You can make so many sentences with anglets. Yes, you can write, I have a beautiful pair of anglets. Oh, my parents bought me a pair of anglets for my birthday as a gift. You can write so many things. Okay, whatever you think that is the correct structure, you can do it. Anyway, I am just writing a sentence here on the board. You can make a different sentence. I am making a sentence here with anglet. That is First one, anglet, when she walked, when she walked, her hanglet, her anglet gave melodious sound as she was walking she had anglets so as she was walking the anglet gave a melodious sound that's what I wrote here when she walked her anglet gave melodious sound next one expensive expensive means spending a lot of money that is expensive yes so the next one we are going to write is expensive. You can write your own. The car which my father bought was very expensive. Or anything that which is suiting to your choice you can write. I am only just giving you an option here. The dress, D-R-E-S-S, -S, dress, the dress in the window, in the 
window w i n d o w window of the shop of the shop as a job shop is very expensive is very expensive expensive the meaning of expensive is to give a lot of money to pay a lot of money that is expensive console so what is the sentence yes the dress in the window yes in the shop there is a window inside the window in the window of the shop is very expensive so the dress which is hanging there in the shop is very expensive consoled console to pacify say good words and yes make the person come into a cheer, cheerful mood not always if it is a accident or death you can never bring a person back to cheerful immediately but you can console a person saying that not to get worried and take more time to get settled so that way you console a person so we are going to frame a sentence of console sam sam consoled sam consoled his grandma grandma about about the broken the broken glass yes now here zam consoled his grandma about the broken glass maybe a glass or something would have broken and grandma would have been upset so zam consoled grandma now the next one is truthful that's what we should be isn't it yes truthful so let's look at the fourth one truthful i have decided i have decided d i c i d e d decided what do you have decided yes i have decided that being and being 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 means in the condition being truthful being truthful t r u t h truthful was the was the was the best approach best approach a p p r o a c h it is not approach it is approach okay i just read it to you once again i have decided that being truthful was the best approach it's not approach because i hear mostly people saying approach it's not approach it is approach okay right so just look once again i read the sentences when i when she walked a anglet so the word which we have used in the sentence you have to highlight that so underline that anglet gave melodious sound the second one the dress in the window of the shop is very expensive so the word which one we use in the second sentence is expensive underline that sam consoled his grandma here the word consoled is grandma about the broken glass fourth one i have decided the word decided that being no no not decided i'm sorry truthful being truthful was the best approach was the best approach okay the fifth one is lovely now since there's no place i have to clean the board okay the fifth one lovely what's the meaning of lovely yes 
pretty or very uh, good looking. Yes, that is lovely. You have a lovely smile. Yes, the fifth one. You have a lovely smile. You have a lovely smile. Full stop. Now, when you begin a sentence, you begin with capital letter. When the sentence is completed, you should, yes, complete with the full stop. Now, here it's written, you have a lovely smile. So, the word highlighted here is lovely. Underline that word. Whenever you make sentences which the word you have used, you have to highlight that or you have to underline that. Okay, right. Now, you are coming to the next one. It's very simple. Where you have to use articles. The sentence should be rewritten. Not this only write the uh, and all that. That's what you all are doing. It is very wrong way of doing it. When a sentence is asked to frame it with the articles, you have to rewrite the sentence. Not just simply write a and the. What will sentence? Does it make any sense? No. So you will not get any points for that. Alright? Okay. Now the first one is, Sachin Tendulkar is one of best cricketers of India. Now wherever you have to use the is, you know, sorry, a or an, you have to write it in the full structure, full form it should be. Now Sachin Tendulkar, how do you write Sachin Tendulkar? You don't have to write anything before or after that. Sachin Tendulkar is one of the, after one of, after one of what you should write? Yes, the best cricketers of India. I just write it down for you. Sachin Tendulkar. Sachin Tendulkar is, is, Sachin Tendulkar is one of. After that, no article is given, but you have to use the article, one of the best. The best. Because it is a definite article. There is no other Yes, person who is the best. The best. See, Sachin Tendulkar is one of the best, what to say, cricketers of India. Cricketers of India. Now, India, you have to use capital letter because it's a, yes, it's a proper noun. Yes, the name of a country, proper noun. I just read it once again. Sachin Tendulkar is one of the best cricketers of India. Second one, you please listen to. I saw hummingbird in garden. Hummingbird was making its nest. So, here, I saw hummingbird it is specified as one is bird so before that you use the article a i saw a hummingbird in it's a definite article garden the garden i saw a hummingbird in the garden now again it is specified hummingbird so you are talking about the hummingbirds isn't it so you use the hummingbird, yes, was making its nest. Its nest. Listen once again. I read it. I am going to read the complete structure with articles, not the sentence which is given there. So listen carefully. I saw a hummingbird in the garden. That's a first sentence. Now again we are talking about a hummingbird. So, you know it is a definite article. You use the hummingbird was making its nest. It means the bird's nest. Okay. Next one. 
third one sentence i'm just reading what is written there i found purse in middle of road this is very clear with you i'm sure i found a purse in the middle of middle of the road not middle of road isn't it middle of the road i found a purse found a purse one a purse in the middle in the middle of the road okay fourth one mitali gave me orange to eat you know what do you use before a vowel isn't it before a vowel yes mitali gave me an orange to eat okay turn your page fifth one listen carefully right okay now next one chantani's father gave her silver anklet a uh, silver anklet was very beautiful here yes chantani's father gave her a only one he gave no gave her a silver anklet now again we are talking about the anklet so the second time when we say oh just a definite article what do you say yes the silver anklet was very beautiful the capital letter the silver anklet was very beautiful now again the sec- third one the uh, session b put the only got to use the wherever needed and rewrite the sentence now here moon revolves around earth you have to rewrite the sentence how the moon revolves around the earth yes the moon revolves around the earth you have to use first the and before earth also the now gateway of india is one of famous monument of mumbai yes the gateway of india is one of the famous monument of monument of mumbai i said india i think no mumbai okay next one police caught thief on time the police caught the thief on time my granny tells me the stories of the ramayana every day i read that once again my granny tells the stories here it is written only me stories tell me the stories of the ramayana every day, every day for holy books important things we use the now the fifth one i'm going to frame it for you correctly the brightest star the brightest star in the sky is the pole star the brightest star in the sky is the pole star okay choose the correct verbs that agree with the subject everything in the house yes is in order the pair of scissors is blunt my garden has variety of plants in it yes do you have do you have choices given i'm just reading out do you have any spare bag ship and ship are now you are talking about two persons so you are using are ship and ship are planning a surprise party now write the meaning of each word or phrase so here you just got to refer the dictionary find the meanings okay find the meanings for it right if not i just send the meanings to you i will write and send it to you but you take your dictionary and find this meanings okay then you can complete this work so every day you refer at least five words from the dictionary you refer the dictionary and get five words every day you learn from the dictionary so that you will able to build up your vocabulary you will learn more words more meanings okay so do this neatly and if you find the first page i think when you 
frame the structure if it cannot be fitting in there you can begin from here don't make it too congested and uh, don't make it look to you as though you cannot read so please do one thing leave space and write and if it does not fit in that line come to the bottom portion and complete it all right so write do a neat work i want all the letters to be visible and written properly all right children okay have a great day bye bye take care